In this tutorial, I'm going to describe how to set cookies in your browser. And sometimes you don't want cookies uh, because they basically are watching your activities and, and are tracking where you're going. Um, and most of the times those cookies are just you know, gathering data on your activity and not really giving away information. There's other things that do that. Uh, and s so sometimes I don't want those kind of cookies myself. But sometimes a site wants to leave cookies, and it's a site that you trust, and it's a site that uh, needs cookies to operate correctly. And our site is a site that you can trust, and so we want to be able to allow cookies. But if you don't allow cookies for a site, what happens is, is it doesn't let you do something like sign in, as you've been experiencing more than likely. So I'm going to sign in and go through the process. And we're going to go through the process, which, so I'm going to try to log in. And it's telling me a number of things that you've seen. It says cookies must be enabled in your browser. It says invalid login. So you're kind of left guessing, is it because my password's wrong? Is my username wrong? Um, but in this situation, I am certain that it's because of the cookies. So I need to fix that. So I'm actually going to just go click back to the very main page. I'm going to leave it there because I actually want to get at this URL address. One of the things to remember about a, a browser is it's much, l think of it like your television. Everything that's in your window is what's being broadcast. But everything that's in the frame is sort of like the outside of your TV set. You know, so like all these controls like show you what channel you're on and you know, and, and there's all these other different buttons, and these all stay the same. These are sort of like the controls to your TV, you know, um, and, and, and it doesn't matter what's displaying. These, there's things that are operating as of the browser that allows you to see the picture on the screen. So that's why I want you to pay attention to these, to this area. Um, I have displayed a, a number of different things, but I'm just going to go right through and go to enabling cookies, and then I'm going to go back a little bit late and, and go over tool, tool views where you can see different settings and things like that. So I'm actually going to go to tools. I'm going to go to internet options. And you've got a bunch of different tabs. You have been might have been through this before. And we're going to go to privacy. And I, this one's set at medium. We've got pop-up blocker on. Um, and so what we really want to do is we want to enable cookies for certain sites, and we can block cookies from certain sites. So in this one, I'm going to look and say we got managed websites, and there's us.online.com, and its setting is always block. This might even be blank. And unless you say allow, and you make the action to say I want to allow cookies from this place, it'll still reject you, say you're not accepting cookies because the browser is doing its best to try to protect you. So I'm going to actually go to this one. And I'm going to remove it because it said always block. And you can't change the setting down here that I'm aware of. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go OK. So I was like, OK, there's nothing here that's being managed. I need an address. So I'm going to close this for now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going up to the where the, the, the URL. This is your URL address. This is sort of like, you know, like your house address, you know, how you get to a certain place. And I want to be able. I want to make sure that I put this URL in to always accept cookies from. And so one way to do is I'm going to put my cursor right over the word, and I'm just going to right click. And you'll notice that it turned all blue, and the letters all turned white so that you can see them. And then it's allowed me to do a number of things like cut, and copy, and paste, and delete. I can do a bunch of other things, but don't pay attention to those. Those, truthfully, I never use those as well. Um, and what we're going to do is I'm going to left click on copy because I want to copy it. And when I left click on copy, that means it's sort of on a clipboard someplace, you know. It's, it's just kind of copied and it's waiting to be pasted someplace else. You can do this in a Word document and uh, in other places as well. So I've copied that because I want to have this exact URL. If you make any mistake in this URL, you won't be able to find the address. It won't go to the website you want. If you leave a space without an underscore, um, or just leave a space, um, you leave out the, the period between 
the con the dot between the con and, and us online um, if you use forward slashes instead of backslashes as it's displayed here um, if you don't have three w's any little change to this means it won't find it and it won't help you find it which is really frustrating but that's just the truth of it so sometimes when we don't get a url right we have to go back and look it's like and say is there a mistake in here did i add an extra letter is there an extra space is there something else in that url that's not supposed to be there um, but anyway so i know that's correct i'm on the page um, there's the url i've clicked copy now i'm going to go back to tools and in tools i'm going to go to internet options and we're back here again and we want again go back to that privacy tab and we're going to go to sites again and this is where you were having the most trouble Denise and I'm not sure exactly what was happening but let me go through the process here I have my cursor as you can see there's the line there's the blinking line but then I have the cursor here over it I'm just gonna right click again and that gives me a bunch of things. Now you can only do a certain number of things. It's not going to let you cut. It's not going to let you copy. It's not going to let you delete. It's not going to let you select all. And that's mostly because there's nothing there. But you do have something that you copied that you can paste in. So I'm going to left click paste and there it is. Okay. So the address of this site, I can actually block it in case it's one that's been leaving cookies on my computer that I don't want you know but this this our site is trusted so I'm gonna say allow and when I click allow it now shows up under managed websites and it shortens the domain it sh shortens the URL address so you just see the main part of the domain and if you look up top you'll see that in Internet Explorer 8 and I'll show you how to check what version of Internet Explorer you're using in a moment um, you'll see that there's just that simple short thing is the domain all this rest is just the complete URL address but it's short it's just shorthand so it's the right it doesn't show all this but it, it but it's right and it says always allow so now I'm gonna go OK and then I'm gonna go OK again and now I'm gonna try to sign in one more time now I understand that it's quite possible that even by doing it correctly you're still having trouble and at that point there is something wrong um, but I am guessing that with your situation it just has to do with those cookies and making sure that you've in your browser this is on the computer uh, system wide it's just for this browser it's accepting cookies and so I click log on and it's running very slow today but there I am and I you know, okay so that's cookies that's how you allow it it's uh, again it can be fairly tricky um, if when you're copying and pasting if you're just trying to type in URLs it's not hard to make a mistake typing that URL and I I do it often myself um, um, but copy and paste helps you get the exact URL that you want and so from here on in whenever I go to this site I will be allowed to log in and move from page to page and things like that